Hi everyone, Simon Keeling here, Monday 10th of October. I've uh, got a quick one for you. Um, I just wanted to show you really why I get so fascinated by the weather and why I love it, because there are no two days the same. Let me show you the chart here. Um, I want to show you how I see weather through 3D, so through all levels of the atmosphere. This is the surface chart. Um, down to the south of the country, look, we've got uh, quite strong westerly winds. Up to the north, yes, still westerly winds, but we're separated by this cold front, and that marks the difference between two air masses. Now, the air mass to the south of the country here is what we call a tropical maritime air mass. The winds flow around high pressure in a clockwise direction, like so. So you can actually trace the winds back, look, that are over England and Wales at the moment, all the way back into the Atlantic and down into uh, to the area east of the Azores. Now, we call that a tropical maritime air mass, and that air mass has lots of cloud, lots of moisture associated with it, and rain and drizzle frequently on western coasts. Now, up towards the north, we're in a different air mass. We're in a polar maritime air mass. And this, as its name suggests, originates as the poles. So if we follow the wind's back look into the Atlantic, eventually we come to the pole. So actually, the winds are across Scotland at the moment are generated at the pole, coming down through Greenland, down into the Atlantic and then west across Scotland. But what I find fascinating is that <clears throat> these air masses carry these different weather types. So the polar maritime gives us sunshine and showers. Now, if we look on the um, upper air chart, so we're going to look at the skew-t diagram. And skew-t diagrams, I rub it on about all the time. Um, they're basically a height versus temperature graph. And these are the heights at the left-hand side here. These are in millibars. 500 millibars is 18,000 feet. 700 millibars is 10,000 feet. 850 millibars is 5,000 feet. And then down here we've got the surface. Now, the red line is temperature, blue line is dew point. Look how relatively close together they are. Where they touch, you've got complete cloud cover. But when they're about three or four degrees apart as they are here, that means you've got around about five-eighths of cloud. And the tops, it's telling me, are up at about 10,000 feet. So this is cumulus cloud across Scotland with a surface temperature of around, um, what, seven degrees. Now, if we run a comparison, so if, for example, we then take a look at, uh, let's say, ooh, where should we say, let's go for Birmingham. So if we then go for Birmingham, or even Cambridge, let's go for Cambridge. What the hell, let's go for Cambridge. And take a look at the conditions further south across Cambridge. Then you can see here, that again, we've got relatively dry air look up above, but down in the lower layers, things are more moist. And look at the temperature difference. Look at that. We've got 15 degrees at the surface instead, as we had on the previous chart, of 7 degrees at Aberdeen. So a big temperature difference across these air masses. And I just find that fascinating. I actually run courses on skew T's. I do them online. They last for about an hour. And it's an introduction to skew T diagrams and what you can read from them. I'll let you know when the next one is, but I just wanted to show you that because I find skew T diagrams comparing with surface weather situations absolutely fascinating. And don't forget as well that uh, you can go to the Weather Web website, pop in your uh, postcode or your location in there, and you can get a weather forecast for the next seven days for your location. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope that's been useful for you. Keep the sun shining.